Morning and welcome to One Man One Life. Well we're on day three and we're heading off to Applecross and then I think we're going to Ullapool. But we're just packing the car, we've just had breakfast. Uh, this hotel has a lot to be desired. But it's up for sale if you want to knock it down and build something nice in the five acres of land that's here. Right, we're just going to jump in the car and we'll, um, we'll zip off to Applecross. I'll see you there. Can't wait for this one. Here we go. On the way to Applecross, we're just going through Ross and Tomarty or something. Cromarty. <laughs> Cromarty, yeah. Um, Atterdale. So, um, if you have a look on that, I don't know. But another lovely, this road, oh, tunnel. Ooh. Oh, we need the Porsche. Tunnel. Yeah, it's lovely. It's, this, it's a lovely day, but the water looks pretty choppy. But, yeah, so, loud exhaust. We ain't got one. We've just left Block Karen and we're heading 14 miles now to Applecross. We're going to stop at the cafe and have a nice piece of cake. And then, uh, then we'll go uh, up the Applecross route. But it was absolutely hammering it down, but now it's fine. But then we are in Scotland, so you can expect everything all on the same, all in the same hour. Never mind the same day. Well, we're just outside Loch Harren. Um, my sister spotted some deer. So we're just having a mince down to have a look at the deer. There's only a few. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> now, hopefully, you'll be able to see these. They're a bit far away. Let's see if we can zoom in. Have GoPro, we'll zoom in. And I can't. But hopefully. You can see them, some deer. Right guys, we're just at the start of the Apple Cross route. We've just been in the calf and had tea and cake. Now we're going, oh, I've got my sticker on. I don't know if you can see it there. So we've got the sticker on. So now we're just gonna go up the pass. Oops. So this is um, the Apple Cross Pass. I think it's called the Ap Apple Cross Pass anyway, but we're going to see if we can get some lunch in the Apple Cross in uh, later. Anyway, let's get to it. Alright guys, well we've reached the top of Apple Cross Pass. So we just stopped for a view. Yeah, yeah. 
Beautiful round here. Next stop, Apple Crossing. Well, we've finally reached Apple Crossing. Hi, Jim. Hopefully, we can get something to eat because I'm getting a bit peckish. But here we are. Made it. Right, we've just stopped off at a place called Gerlock um, on the coast actually, this is salt water You can go on uh, whale watching trips from here. How was the whale watching trips? We're still watching. I've still got my sea legs. <laughs> Uh, you're not allowed on the pier. Yeah. Oh, if they're not unloading, you can come on. All right. Well, there's a big sign down there saying you're not allowed on the pier, but um, I do like these boats. Very interesting. Looks a bit. Um, Lived in, <laughs> yeah, that's the expression. I guess these are lobster boats or fishing boats, some description. I don't know if there's a difference actually between lobster and fishing boats. It's a lovely tranquil area, that's for sure. There you go, the silver cloud at Gerlock. May need a lick of paint, but it looks cool as it is. We're now going through Palu. Uh, that's a, we're on the coast now, so what you've seen all these little, I don't know if you call them estuaries or what, but yeah, Palu. And those boats uh, that you've just seen are prawn fishing boats. They go out for prawns. Interesting to know, I guess. But yeah, so we're just following Coast Road up to Ullapool. We've got 50 miles ish to go. We've got the fire brigade behind us. Well, there's the estuary leading into Palu. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. Uh, pronounce, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because it's P O L E W E. But um, anyway, that's what it is, and that's where we are. Yeah, 45 miles to go ish. Doesn't work. 
Well, we just stopped here on the side of the road. A car's gone over the side, so the um, fire brigade and coast guard and what have you are trying to uh, rescue the people. I've just been talking to some chap and he said that this harbour here was used in the war uh, where all the uh, boats went out to Russia to uh, supply the Russians with food and such like. Uh, he said a lot of boats went down around here but it's now a refuelling place for submarines. So we're just going to sit around here for a while until they drag this uh, car out. He's lucky really, he's only gone down about 10 metres. It could have been a lot worse I guess because it's a long way down there to the water as you can probably make out from here. So we're just going to sit around here for a while. Uh, have I learned anything else about this little harbour? It's a drum, it looks like chalk, a chalk, um, forgive the pronunciation. Right, another little stop off point. After our, uh, waiting about an hour uh, for an accident up the road, we've now got to a place called Durnamuk or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. We're about five o'clock in the afternoon, it's beautiful, but... Christine's gonna have a run across that field and test the water. She's not. No, she's not. She's changed her mind. Yeah. Look at the view. Crazy. We're just zipping through Bad Call. We're still on the route of the, of the North Coast 500, uh, but there we go. We're at Bad Bay now. The scenery changes so much around here. Lovely. Right, we've just passing through Dundonal, so we thought we'd stop and just get a few shots. There was an amazing rainbow across where we are now, but it's, it seems to be moving along. But yeah, let's go to the edge. Some lovely fishing boats there. Right, we'll truck on to the next one. We are in Inverail six miles away from our destination and we're just going up the side of Loch Broom. I'm going to do that again because... Well, we finally reached our apartment in Durness. We just quickly checked in and then we're going to... We're going to head down, uh, just down the road is uh, water and all the restaurants <sighs> so we're going to head down there get something to eat and then call it a day I think, I'm a bit tired, we've done 100 and so miles today so it's been another good day we did it we did come across an accident, a car had gone off the road down this really steep embankment so we were stuck there for about an hour while they 
uh, cut them out of the car, but the people was all right. Um, yeah, so that held us back a bit, but other than that, it's been great. We've just come a walk into Ullapool to get some dinner. I'm a bit tired now. I had to use my spray last night for my chest paint. But it is one of them things. I've only used it twice, I think. Typical. I've only used it twice since I got the damn thing, so, and I think I've lost it now, but that's beside the point. Anyway, here we are. A little, a little stroll down the front, and then do a bit of editing. And then, sorry, just listening to my sister. Tomorrow, Thursday, Kokowa Mountain and Smooth Caves and such like. We might even have a go on the zip wire if it's open, but we'll uh, we'll see. But it's a pleasant evening. It's a bit chilly, but um, yeah, it's been great. Anyway. Uh, I'll wrap this video up here, so if you like this video give us a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications and subscribe for plenty more videos to come.